Hey everyone, happy Friday. Just wanted to do a video today because it's easier to show you what um, I want to review. So my mission this summer has been to find a better skincare program. Um, I've just been using coconut oil and that's fine, takes off all my makeup and everything, but I feel like now that I'm 32, um, I need to step it up a little bit. My sister was right when she told me that. She's like, coconut oil works for a while and then you're a little bit older and you, you need something. However, my skin is so sensitive, so very, very sensitive. I, that's pretty much the reason why I landed on just using coconut oil because anything I tried to use in college, it just had the opposite effect. And whereas I don't really break out naturally, if I use any product on my face, that's when I have a problem. So um, it's really important to me that I find um, sunscreen that doesn't have the chemicals or any sort of... Um, irritant in there because what happens is I'll put it on my face, it's fine, and then I jump into the swimming pool and it stings like nobody's business. So all of this was going on and then one of my best friends became an Eva Anderson consultant. I'd never heard of her, but it's a completely non-toxic line, um, completely clean, most of it's organic, it's all gluten free, which I mean that to me is the most important factor in it. Um, so. And this video is not to be a promotion of that. I haven't even tried the products yet. I don't, I don't know. I could get them and I don't like them. So I don't want you to turn this off now thinking that I'm just doing a promotion. What I actually want to review today is these really cool apps that I found that are helping me to see what's already in my medicine cabinet and determine if they're of good value or not. So I'm going to grab my phone because I want you to see these apps. The first one that I found on my own just randomly, and I had posted an article about it on my Below the Fork Facebook page. It's called Good Guide. And um, on their the blog, it had been reviewing some sunscreens and saying what they rated at. Now, this app, let me just put in... So, this one's cool because it has food and skincare products and everything. So, like I put in Kind Bar. And what do I love? So the almond and coconut. It gets a score of three. So that's good. But the thing is, can you see that? So it shows the health, the environmental, and the society. So if it's a 10, that's bad. <laughs> if it's low and close to a zero or a one, then it's super, super clean. So Kind Bars are good because they're non-GMO and they're three. So I went through all my beauty products and some of the new snacks that I've been getting now that we are still goldfish free. Um, and I just, this is a really cool app. Then my friend, same one who's the Ava Anderson consultant, told me about an even better app and that's what I really want to talk to you today. I don't like the name of it because I felt when I put it into Google that I was really scared as to what was going to come up because it's called Think Dirty. I get it, haha, -ha, but you know what? With our internet today, not a good name, but it's an awesome, it's an awesome app. And the reason why I like this app better is because you can not only put in your product, but then add it to your bed bathroom shelf and then it will... Um, do an average of all of your products that you've saved in it and it'll tell you where you're net out. So my overall rating is a five right now. So that's really cool. So this is the Think Dirty app. This is what it looks this is what both of them look like. So Think Dirty and then the good guide is the one that I first talked about. And that's in my health section. Um, so for me, I'm a five, so I put in like, I don't even use this stuff every day, so of course that's what's up there, but the unique fiber lashes on special occasions, and as we know, I'm normally in outfits like this and not having special <laughs> occasions. Um, this summer, um, my DIY deodorant, which I love and I continue to use, and it still is the best, especially now that I'm completely detoxed of um, any of the other junk that they put in commercial deodorants. Um, the only problem with it is because mine is such a base of coconut oil, it's melting. It's fine for at home. I keep it in a Tupperware container. I'm just nervous we're going on um, a couple trips this summer, and I know it'll not travel well. Um, so I was trying Tom's of Maine. Not really a fan. 
Oop, I don't know what my neighbor saw us over there. Um, and then my mascara is really bad as an eight. This is again the same um, line where if it's at 10, it is not clean. There's tons of chemicals, lots of concerning ones that can cause cancer that are known to be um, endocrine um, inhibitors, um, just toxins that we should not be putting in our body. And as I learned last night, um, actually from the Ava Hour, was because we have a liver, the food that we ingest can be detoxified because of our liver. Again, what I always argue and why I think cleanses are a joke. We have a liver. <laughs> it cleanses for us, but that's a whole other topic. I'm getting off guard, um, but or off topic. But when you put something on your skin, it doesn't get detoxified by your liver, and so it could actually be more harmful than what you ingest. Very interesting, isn't that? I've never really thought about that. So then when I'm not using my coconut oil and I just want to be easy, I use Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizer because it's the only thing I've found that doesn't cause me to break out, and that's a 7, so that's junk. But the one that I am most disappointed and surprised in is I made a quick decision at Target about a month ago um, as it was really coming into summer and I wanted a healthier sunscreen because, you know, I'm banana boat, Hawaiian Tropic, like all the like commercial grade ones and I don't want to use those anymore. However, I can't afford something like Badger. It, it's so expensive and I also don't think I would like the like super white going on. So I grabbed Baby Gannix. And that, my friends, is a 10. So if we click on that, it's going to tell us all the reasons why it is not a good product. So here's their dirty meter. So neutral, 0 to 2, half and half is a 3 to 6, and dirty is a 7 to 10. So let's put in ingredients, and this is where the concerning ones is. This is why I love this app, because it's showing you what so these are all if it's in green those are all good it's all good but then they have these ones in here and so it's the octinoxate 7.5 percent that is what put this off the charts and that's really frustrating to me because it's called baby Gannix. and i guess it's my own fault for thinking like organics that's i, I know it doesn't say organic on the label but uh marketers this is why i'm not one anymore um, and then just to show what a zero looks like, my precious Carrington Farms organic coconut oil, zero, because you are the best and your only ingredient is coconut oil. So I really encourage you to, um, to get this app. Again, it's called Think Dirty. I don't like that name, but um, I think it, it's really eye-opening. And because it has that list of ingredients, you can start to educate yourself on things to stay away from. So just as, I don't know if you're like me, but over the years you've really educated yourself on what to look for on labels. I know that was a huge thing for me in becoming gluten-free um, and, and just really realizing how much they sneak gluten and wheat and all these other um, grains into our diets, MSG, and they use different names because they know every so many years everyone's like, oh, wait a minute, I'm staying away from that, and then they rename it. So um, I really encourage you guys to check out this app. Um, and also, just another little plug again, and I will, like, the caveat, I have not tried Eva Anderson's products, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of excited to. So if you're interested at all, go to... AvaAnderson.com slash Kaylee Stewart, K-A-Y-L-I-E-S-T-E-W-A-R-T, and take a browse and look at these amazing products. Um, I hope you all have a beautiful weekend, and I'll see you soon. Bye.